All right, guys, welcome back to PC419 Tech Tips. Uh, my name is Lee. We are back again from last night's uh, DOA issue we had with my Intel SSD, which is the SSD6 512 gig version from Intel. I'm upgrading my Samsung 256 gig NVMe on my Razer Blade 14 to a 512 gig. So, what I've gone ahead and done is, is uh, taking the screws out already, which is the T5 hex screw. There she is, removed. All right, it's a quick rundown on the, um, on the laptop itself to people that actually want to know what the Razorblade 14s look like on the inside. All right, I've gone ahead and removed my, uh, my obviously my M.2 already. Um, obviously you can see from there, you can see the CPU core and NVIDIA, um, CPU core and GPU core. I'm running an NVIDIA 970, all right, six gig version. It's running 16 gig of RAM and about to run 512 gig. SSD. It is a 4K version, 4K screen version as well. Touch. All right. Let's pull it out. Quick overview of it. All right. So let's go ahead into the uh, cloning software. So I'm using a Crytus True, which you can see from here. All right. So what we'll do is, what we're going to do from now is we're going to clone the Razor Blades SSD to another crucial disk we've got. So I'm using a crucial 256 gig SSD, two and a half inch. So our source drive is gonna be obviously the Razor Blade. If you click next. And then the destination drive will be the SSD. Obviously it's gonna wipe anything off the drive. So you're gonna make sure that a drive is usable and you actually wanna wipe everything off before you actually clone it. All right, so once you've um, gone to the last, pretty much the last, I'll pass it finish. That you're going to see that your your disk prior is obviously blank. Your destination disk after is going to be the same. All right. Um, Resolved. Okay, so we're good to go. I'm going to proceed. go and that's it now it's copying and ready to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video while that's actually cloning and we'll just, I'll re resume the video and then we'll do the opposite way so I'll get the clone of the SSD onto the new Samsung MVMe all right guys so the clone was successful let's get the uh, SSD back into the razor blade first time here I'm going to try and find my screwdriver actually. So let's screw it down. And if anyone's wondering if I am grounded, yes, I am grounded. Alright, so everything's back together again. Things all back here. Everything looks good. And dot two's back in again. Let's get the car back on. It's pretty simple, as you can see. Alright, let's get these screws back in again. Now, uh, one of you, a few people are wondering why I like testing it before I put the cover back on again. I like to put at least four screws back in the cover and run it with the cover on. At least. I'm not saying this laptop has got one, but some do have switches which won't allow the, the laptop to boot up if the cover, if the base cover's off. Be like a press the switch. Alright, four screws is enough for now. Let's get it started. Hopefully, it does boot up. It has no issues. Alright, let's go over. Alright, so let's try it. Here we go. That's a good sign. That's another good sign. There you go, and it's in Windows. And as you can see, it's in Windows. And 
morning. Pretty good actually. This one's Becky. Score running. All right, so as you can see here, the 476 Intel drop is actually running. Things running there. Island pretty high actually. That's okay. Let's have a look at the main drive, and we're in. All right, so I've used 243 gig, which was, that's what I was using before at 256, and now it's obviously got. A bit more than a bit less than half of um of hard drive space left. Alright guys, so as you can see it is a bit of a process cloning your drive. It's not a very hard process to be honest. Um, if you've got the right tools, you've got the right software, um, if you've got a motherboard that supports two M.2s, two NVMEs, you'll be able to just do this in sort of a 15, 10 minute job, to be honest. Uh, mine's a bit longer, I've only got one NVMe drive um, slot on my test bench. So I have to go from NVMe to SSD, SSD back to NVMe. And I was, as you can see here, boot it up and shoot it straight to the desk, no problems whatsoever. All right guys, that's the end of the, end of the episode. Thank you for uh, looking and uh, actually watching, watching the video. If you have any questions, just hit the comment down below. If you've got any uh, concerns, please let me know as well. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.